Hi guys, we're back for our third instalment of our Threads special. Today we're talking about mono threads. So unlike the other threads that we've looked at previously, the mono thread is smooth when you look at it and it doesn't pull or engage the skin in any way. It doesn't suspend the tissues. Instead, it sits passively in the skin and creates collagen, elastin, hyaluronic acid, and it actually promotes a little bit of volume as well. In this episode, we're going to be looking at monothreads in the lip. So Sarah, why would we want to use monothreads in the lip? I know it sounds a little bit wild putting threads in the lip, but hear me out here, guys. For some patients, filler's just not suitable. Maybe they don't want to have filler. Maybe they've had filler already and you're worried if you put more in, it's going to migrate outside of the border of the lip. Maybe they're just looking for the lip edge to be a little bit more crisp. For all those patients, using a thread will give a little bit more volume, it will give a little bit of rotation, and it will give a bit more crispness to the border of the lip. So, I have to say, I'm a fan. Mm. Ewan, do you know how long the monothreads last in the lip for? Well, luckily for you, Kish, I do. So they usually will last anywhere between 12 and 15 months. For the whole duration that the thread is in place, your body is producing collagen and keeping that nice, stiff, crisp lip border. Whereas filler, probably be gone in six months. Why don't we have a look at a lip being treated? During this procedure, the patient's lip is cleaned, the anaesthetic is given and we put in two to three threads on each side of the lip. So results from this procedure are fairly immediate and although you might get some bruising and swelling, you can expect most of this to be settled by about two weeks. Okay guys, have you ever thought about having threads in your lip? Let us know in the section below. We'll be back again next week with another episode. So bye bye for now.